One of the new features in the version 2010 is the report engine. In this presentation, we will take a look at the new reports available and discuss what these reports may be used for. The first of the new reports are the system-wide reports. These are under the Utilities menu. The first of these is the Security Report. This report lists the BusinessWorks user and the company for the user rights, and then lists by module each task and whether or not this user has rights to that task in this company or does not have rights to this task in this company. The second of the system reports is under registration information, and it's the registration report. The registration report will show you everything that was entered in registration information, the company name, the registration ID, any serial number or unlocking keys for each of the modules. In the general ledger, the new customizable report is the list of accounts. This report lists the general ledger account numbers followed by the description, type of account, as well as other information. In Accounts Payable, under Reports, Vendor Reports, we have the vendor list. This report shows the vendor ID, the vendor name, address, city, state, and zip code information. Moving along to Accounts Receivable, we can go to Reports, Customer Reports, and there we have the customer list. Very similar to the vendor list, the customer list shows the customer ID, name, address, city, state, and zip code information. In Inventory Control, we have added the customizable part list, which we can locate by going to Reports, Part Reports, and then the part list shows the part ID, the description, the bin location, and the quantity on hand. In order entry, we'll go to reports and then order reports. Here we have the sales order report. This report shows the order number, the customer the order is for, the description of the order, the status, whether it's open or closed, and the date of the order, the required date, as well as the release date. In the payroll module, we have the employee lists, which we can locate by going to payroll, reports, employee reports, and then employee lists. This report shows the employee ID, name, address, city, state, and zip, as well as phone number, very similar to the customer list and the vendor list. And lastly, we have the job list. We can locate the job list by going to the job cost, reports, and then job reports. The job list shows us the status of the job, the bid date, the job start date, the job ID, the description, the purchase contact and phone number information, as well as the manager. As you may have noticed, all of the quick reports are in a column format from left to right. This makes these reports good to be exported into Excel. In the version 2010 report engine, in this print preview screen, we have added a button to make it easier to export these reports into Excel. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. As you can see, some of the column widths may need to be adjusted, but the information is easily exported into Excel. This is a list of all of the new reports that were added to the version 2010 that are customizable. Just keep in mind that only the reports listed are customizable. All of the other reports are using the old system and are not customizable. 
Thank you for viewing our presentation introducing the Quick Reports for version 2010. You can watch us on Facebook for video 3 of this series, What's New in Sage BusinessWorks 2010. You can also visit www.sageu.com slash businessworks for the Real-Time Tech Thursday courses on the new reporting system. You can also visit www.sagebusinessworks.com dot com slash client care for information on our updated client care plans.